there's this little tip that I feel like more people should be talking about, but I don't feel like they do. Hey, you welcome back to my channel. I'm Jules. I do videos every week on fashion style and shopping. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to join our family. Today, I'm talking about my fall winter shoe collection picks for 2020. And yes, I know I don't need to go into what kind of year 2020 has been, but it's definitely impacted how I shop. And so some of these things are actually on my wish list because I don't have physical ones to share with you, but I will be showing images of the ones that I want to buy or I'm thinking about buying. I'll make sure to note which ones are good 2020 buys. Those are the ones that I think will last you years and years and that you won't be mad at in 2021 that you bought this year. But yeah, everything will be linked down below in the description box if you wanna shop. Those links do go to support my channel, so thank you if you choose to use them. If not, another way you can support me is just by subscribing and liking this video. So warning, there's a lot of boots in this list. I really love boots and they're in no particular order, but I wanted to start off with these black over the knee boots. I actually think you can find a lot of inexpensive over the knee boots. And a lot of people think you need to invest in a good pair of over the knee boots so that they stay on your leg. But I actually think you can go with a budget one that doesn't stay up well on its own. There's this little tip that I feel like more people should be talking about, but I don't feel like they do. Um, and maybe you heard of it, but it's to use double-sided tape to keep them on your legs. And it works really, really well. It works best on bare skin, but it can also work on jeans or tights. I I don't know if I'd use it on tights, but you get my point. It's a really great trick. It works. These ones were pretty inexpensive. I'll have them linked down below if they're still available. They have memory foam in the sole. So this next boot is definitely for when it gets a lot colder, more of the winter months as it transitions, like maybe even November. But these kind of cozy fashion hiker boots, these are just such a cute staple to have. I really do like the impractical color of beige because it can go with so many different things, but black would also look really good here too. I think it also comes in like a brown. I also like this wood block heel. It's a polished touch for something that's a little more outdoorsy looking. It has a zipper on it on this part so it's really easy to get on and off. It has this cute little buckle. This is a splurge but Sam Edelman has been doing a lot of sales lately so you can definitely find it for a good deal. So speaking of Sam Edelman and splurges, like Sam Edelman is my guilty pleasure that I'm not guilty about at all. Um, these are another pair of Sam, Sam Edelman boots. A trend I've been noticing a lot are these kind of knee high, not over the knee, but just knee high tan boots that have a little bit of slouch. So they're not quite like equestrian where it's like leather or faux leather and kind of sleek. It's definitely more of a suede. It's more comfortable. It's a little more relaxed, but I see these also a lot in the spring. So it's a really good buy because you can wear it in the fall and spring. It's expensive. It's an investment, but you can find other ones that aren't. You know, there are a lot during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I know that's past but things are gonna keep going on sale because 2020 is honestly the year of so many sales and no I promise this video isn't sponsored but I have another pair of Sam Edelman shoes and they're not the last one I'm gonna show you I'm sorry but more specifically they don't have to be these shoes these are just the shoes that I have but I'm showing you these all because of the chain chains on shoes are really big chains in general are really big I know I've talked about it on my channel before but if you're new and you haven't heard me talk about it here we go chain necklaces are in chain bracelets chains on shoes chains on bags if you see something with a chain it's because it's on trend I think the trend is still young enough that it's going to be in style still next year these are mules you could also do uh, loafers or heels. So now for some of us, fall and winter can sometimes mean leaves and snow, but for me, it means just nine months of rain. It's fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Seriously. Don't need to keep asking. I'm good. I actually really love the rain. I just get sick of it after six months, but that's why it's really important to think about your rain boot collection. I recommend three different pairs of rain boots. The first one of course is a tall pair of rain boots. These are a pair of Hunter rain boots. I'll have them linked below. They're nothing revolutionary, but they last you years and years. And then they're still really trendy. These ones I did get secondhand, so you can find really good ones secondhand. I'm normally an eight and a half in boots, but in these I am a size eight, so make sure to try them on before buying. And I do believe in investing in rain boots just because they get so much water on them and water really just breaks everything down. If you don't want to have to keep buying them every year, then that's probably the route you want to go. Um, I also recommend a pair of duck boots. I think these work well in the snow too. Again, we have this zipper on the side, so they're really easy to get on and off and they just look really stylish. They have the rubber around them so they're easy to clean and then they have like 
speaking of my gosh and then they have like a nice upper sole that kind of adds a little bit of style to them and then the third pair of rain boots i recommend is something that i wasn't really on board with at first and hence i don't have one to show you but now i'm like really all about it and that's just a low top rubber rain boot with kind of an exaggerated lug sole i think that looks a little trendy a little bit more modern looks more intentional rather than you just bought a pair of kids rain boots so I know this next one is like a basic, but I wanna talk about a couple versions of it that I think are really kind of updated and are gonna make your outfits look really on point while at the same time still not looking like you tried too hard. But I wanna talk about black booties and I think black boots in general are just always a good pick. In my opinion, for my own fall winter shoe collection, I think two, maybe three, like different types of black booties are perfect because you want one that's a little more dressy, one that just takes your outfit and makes it look really sleek and on point, but then also having a nice casual option. So like a black Chelsea boot with a nice good lug sole. I know some of the trends are talking about exaggerated and oversized lug soles. I just want like a noticeable lug sole. I don't wanna be over the top. I'm not an over the top person, so that wouldn't fit my style or personality. They're super versatile, they're super easy to style, and they definitely hold up to the 2020 test. And these actually came in a nice black, but did I get it? No, because I am just kind of obsessed with the white boot look. This one is definitely a trendy pick, so if this trend isn't your jam, then that's fine. There's no pressure, there's no hard feelings, everyone has their own style and opinion, but I think it's also fun to have maybe one or two boots in your wardrobe that are just really trendy, and then you can just break them out and you wear them, but basically you can wear any other outfit you want or already have, add this boot and it looks more stylish, it looks more trendy, but a white boot is pretty versatile. There are a lot of videos you can watch on YouTube on how to style a white boot. At the end of last year, I retired my pair of beige boots. So I really should have bought a pair during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I don't have one to show you because it is on my wish list. So I thought I would share my beige boot wish list with you because I don't know which one I want. I'd love your opinions on which ones you love. I've tried the Vince Camuto, uh, these ones. I don't remember what they're called, but I've tried those and I find that that V, as cute as it looks, it rubs against my ankle and I just can't. And honestly, in a perfect world, I'd have a pair of brown taupe boots and a pair of like light beige boots. That would go a long way in my wardrobe, so that's something I probably should consider, but I do want to invest in a good pair because I want them to last years and years. I don't always want to replace them every year. Now the tip I would give you and that I'm giving myself when it comes to finding a good pair of beige boots is one, I'm looking for kind of a really sleek, clean pair that has a couple soft western touches and when i say soft i mean i don't want like cowboy boot looking boots i want them to have kind of like that pleating on the side or maybe a different color wood heel nothing too crazy out there but just like touches of that western trend again let me know what you love in the comments below i'd really love to check out your recommendations okay so i have two kinds of fashion sneakers on my wish list for fall 2020 the first one is neutral color block sneakers and i want them to be neutrals because then i can sort of pair it with everything but i think when i say color blocking i definitely mean larger swatches of color blocking versus kind of like the New Balance dad shoe kind of trend. The other type of sneaker I'd really like to get is something with kind of a really cool sole at the bottom. That's something I've been noticing is just like really sleek. Either they're kind of fluid or really sharp and kind of like spaceship like I don't know anything super modern it's not like my aesthetic but I really appreciate it and like it so for this next one I'm going to be reusing these boots because they kind of do two trends in one so it's a very very trendy boot but it's the crocodile reptile snake skin in a boot trend I really like the crocodile one more so than snake skin I think snake skin looks good but I think it can just look dated faster versus crocodile, which is definitely more of a texture. It just adds a little bit of visual interest to this boot rather than taking it over with a snakeskin. And don't get me wrong, I really like snakeskin and python and animal print and leopard print, but when it comes to a boot, which is a pretty big surface to have a pattern on, I definitely like it a little bit more toned down, a little bit more neutral. So that's my fall winter shoe collection picks for 2020 and a little bit of my personal wish list. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!